Here is Mike Thurnovich, and what's he talking about, Matt? The persecution of the alt right uh, and what that means for that. By that, why that basically means tech companies are going to come after Christians next. Yep, naturally. You're Christian. There's a target on your back by Facebook. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to say. When they are targeting clean, not explicit, Christian websites that just do comedy and satire and have a little bit of fun, they're going to attack you. So that's what you need to tell your friends. When your friends go, well, you know, Mike Cernovich is a whatever guy. Don't defend me. I don't need you to defend me. Okay. Here's what I need you to say. Facebook and Snopes, they hate Christians. Mm. If you let them get rid of Cernovich, we are next. And that's the truth. It's proven now. So rather than, you know, let people drag you into the weeds about Cernovich and this and that, just say they are only going after Cernovich because the real target is Christians like us. And then send them this article about how the Babylon Bee was attacked and targeted anti-Christian persecution by Snopes and by Facebook. Share this video too. As long as we're on Facebook, take this video, download it, post it to your page, share the links, hit the like, hit the emojis. You know, none of us are going to be here much longer, right? If you're a Christian, right. Facebook, they hate you. Yep. There's no other way to put it. Prove me wrong, Facebook. Hire some Christians. Just to improve connectivity. Um, so I love I'm I'm literally looking forward to like the first they came for the Jews and the gypsies like one for the like first they came for the freakish pizza gate guy and I said nothing. Then they came for the health supplement scam guy and I said nothing. <laughs> it came for all of the Christians. Now apparently what YouTube is going to do is they're going to remove all ads from Alex Jones's channel. This is something to look. Alex Jones is poison and disgusting, and all of these guys, Cernovich, Jones, all of them—they're nothing but just. I mean, they're—they're they're sort of like public herpes. They're grotesque blemishes and viruses on American life. The broader implications of how we deal with having all of these programs and all of this content, including some very good content that are built on private platforms that profit off of public commons, which is essentially what we all are, is a deeper question that has some real dangers. I want to quote now, I mean, it's a piece in Rolling Stone, which explained that after years of algorithms which favored the type of deranged conspiracy content that Alex Jones pushes, that starting at least a year ago, there was already some attempt to sort of claw this back and rein this in by YouTube, that that sort of first approach to cutting down on conspiracy content also affected, and I'll quote now, a number of left-leaning sites of substance, including Alternate and Truth Out, along with mainstream human rights groups like Amnesty International, were affected. Although, quote-unquote, conspiracies, like allegations of CIA drug trafficking, tend to be better sourced than Pizzagate. The algorithm didn't seem to make a distinction. As a result, these sites saw their tra traffic fall off the cliff. Many of the largest progressive news organizations have watched their online audiences from Google and Facebook decline as much as 60% in 2017. Jan Frell, associate publisher of Alternet, said they're still falling. Jones's many critics might keep this in mind as they indulge in some easy schadenfreude. Beneath all the noise, an internet designed to calm and please advertisers is quietly kneecapping small and independent news sites, and it's being sold under the guise of fighting, quote-unquote, fake news. That's right. Because the objection that, of course, are correct, Nike or Oxfam do not want to be played before some white supremacist or conspiracy theorist or somebody making up lies about global pedophile rings, okay? And we all know about how grotesque and damaging so much YouTube comment is, content is. 
But their concern is just the controversy. They don't care about the dishonesty per se. So somebody doing a four-part series on absolutely real histories of the CIA being involved in heroin traffickers in Laos or Afghanistan, as an example, or the history of the opioid crisis that Anthony LaPay and I did for my show that implicates everything from America's corporate sector to the CIA to Mexican cartels. I mean, that's controversial, but absolutely true content. So this is another one of these very delicate balancing acts where there is a fake news problem. There is a conspiracy culture problem. But we don't want to you to ride and piggyback off of these companies that, first of all, have profited handsomely off of all of this content and now are concerned about it because the advertisers are freaking out. The advertisers don't care about the public ethics of it. They care about the controversy. And controversy is embedded in content that exposes U.S. empire and human rights abuses. It exposes racism. It exposes maybe those very same advertisers in terms of their own conduct. So this is going to be a lot more challenging than simply just stepping back from, you know, the absolute garbage that people like Alex Jones represent. Just to address uh, Cernovich's specific claims that yes. this signifies a uh, coming purge of Christians from the internet, uh, the Babylon Bee is like a weird, one of those satire sites that it's hard to know like what the joke is. Like this is something that Snopes uh, fact check them on is, is playing Christmas music before Thanksgiving now a federal crime. That was from a Babylon Bee article saying it was like, it's, it's sort of like you can't tell if it's satire meant to make people laugh or just jam the sort of, internet with bs information right um but yeah it, it's that site wasn't flagged because they were christian it's because they commonly uh have things on their website that people confuse as the truth because they're hard to know what the joke is right so you're saying that mike thernovich almost didn't report something accurately <laughs> Yeah, he's. He, Are you he, saying that there might not, be some shoddy methodology he, he, in that freakish Periscope guy? Yeah, he's not going to win a Pulitzer for this one. Uh, and it, that whole clip of him saying like, "Don't defend me, just say this is about Christians now," is very interesting. Like he he's sensing his own credibility is kind of uh, on the wane. I should point out that Alex Jones is going to send him, I think, to Texas to protest uh, South by Southwest. Uh, and the tech companies. <laughs> um, so we'll look forward to that. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 